the honorable of churches in this competition, the honorable all audiences, and the honorable all participants in this competition, my beloved friends, and also my teachers. First of all, let's say many thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us chance and help to join this competition. Salawat and prayer we will say to our greatest prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his family, his friends, and all of his followers. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the chance that is given to me. I am participant of speech contest number 30. Today, I would like to deliver my speech entitled The Benefits of Social Media for Continuity of Intercultural Communication in Indonesia. Before delivering my speech today, I would like to define the title first. Ladies and gentlemen, according to Cambridge Dictionary, Social media is a form of media that allow people to communicate and share information using the internet or mobile phones. While, based on the Oxford reference, intercultural communication is interaction between people from different cultural or subcultural intended to lead to share understanding of message. As we know, Indonesia is a country with various culture and ethnic that spread in every island and region. This difference makes Indonesia being a rich country full of ethnicities and heritage. In this modern era, communication between time and distance can be reached by technology called social media. Therefore, Indonesia with ethnic and cultural background can well communicate also know every cultural heritage one another by using technology nowadays. Ladies and gentlemen, Social media brings benefits for continuity of intercultural communication in Indonesia. Firstly, they serve as a tool for communication with other individuals. This is explained by a need to belong to a certain group, as well as by a desire to feel needed and important. Such needs are fulfilled with the help of social media through joining various groups on social networking sites such as group of student association all around Indonesia with various ethnic and cultures. People tend to have a good empathy in communicating in social media. They always try to make their friends feel comfortable during communication with them on social media. Social media enhance participants' communication competence in a way that communication among intercultural friends goes effective. Ladies and gentlemen, secondly, social media are used for searching for information, learning about various opinions, attitudes, and values, as well as getting information about news, developments, and events. For a real example is Facebook. Who do know about Facebook? It's dominantly chosen by the participant as the most used social media. Facebook is a complete and huge social media platform. It is used not only as the communication tool, but also microblogging, which allow users to share theirs and other thoughts through post information, videos, and pictures on the wall. It helps sharing information goes faster throughout the connected friends. In addition, Facebook is utilized with emoticon on the chat box in order to express their feeling to each other. Moreover, Facebook registers personal information of the user and the information access openly so that people may use it for profiling. General information such as school, working place, address, current location, hobbies, and so forth are easily bringing users to get connected and find mutual international friends with the same interests. It's very easy to learn new cultural information of, from our friends. Even if they are from another island with different geographical condition, they can still communicate each other and help them to adapt with their intercultural friends based on their own information in Facebook profile. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, 
One of the main benefit to use social media is socialization. As social networking sites provide excellent opportunities for taking part in conversation and discussion without direct contact or face-to-face -face communication with other individuals. An essential feature of social media is that they break boundaries and create a possibility to communicate regardless of distance among the people. Ladies and gentlemen, before I end my speech, I would like to conclude that once again, social media is a powerful online tool that allows people to communicate, interact, get connected, share, express ideas and stuff, and many more benefits to carry out. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is clear that social media facilitates intercultural communication and open a new space and continuity for intercultural interaction with other people from another island or another province in Indonesia. And of course, will make us become a stronger nation in the future with wider intercultural communication level. Last but not least, I hope you can get some point from my speech and it can be useful for all of you. I think that's all from me. Thank you very much for your attention and I do apologize if there's any mistakes. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you.